we're going to create a digital avatar. Well, it's not the avatar from James Cameron's science fiction film, but the one that looks and moves just like me. Hi, I'm Elaine. I'm happy to be hosting this video. This is the real Elaine. Okay. I clone myself, kind of. You might wonder why. Well, the latest AI developments have made it really hard to distinguish between what's genuine and what's AI generated. And this phenomenon is not limited to images alone. Hello, 大家好，我是一个数字。The realm of AI-generated video and voice seems to have blurred this line even more. This actually AI-generated, not real me. No way. This technology is one of the latest releases from SenseTime, one of China's leading AI providers. I decided to try it myself to see if it's that good. The process, to my surprise, is easy. The company just recorded me speaking for a couple of minutes. Nice to meet you, Elaine. Now you can just type in anything, or you can let AI to create content itself. Generate. AI avatars are generated by training data into deep neural networks. I will leave Nina to explain the rest. Yeah, only how your、uh, the, your feature I learn from your own video. Before the process will be really troublesome.、Uh, right now, what we do is that we have a big model of like thousands of people. That's how、uh, five minutes video can generate a life like a digital avatar. The improvements of accessibility now make the technology appealing to a mass market in live streaming. Not this kind, but with virtual hosts. During this year's June 18th shopping festival, live streaming with virtual hosts has increased nearly 400 percent. Our virtual host has broadcast continuously for 20 days. They've already sold 1 million yuan worth of hotel coupons within one month. However, as avatars become more lifelike, digital forgeries like deepfakes could pose a real threat. The misuse of such technology may cause misinformation, infringe portrait rights, and personal privacy. China has put in place two regulations to set the bottom line. The country's first regulations regarding deepfake technology applications came into effect in January this year. And the latest regulations managing generative AI services takes effect on August 15th. AI developers are also taking measures to prevent the technology from being misused. Authorization process,、um, deepfake detection process, and watermarking process are the three key steps for us to preventing taken by other people. Reports predict that China's virtual avatar market will reach nearly 40 billion U.S. dollars by 2030. So, where is this technology leading us? Having a digital twin, it can be both a great helper and a challenger to our jobs. And a hats off to everyone. Don't believe in everything you see, no matter how real it looks. Chen Ling, CGTN, Shanghai.